State Council and Minister of Foreign Affairs of China, Honorable Minister Ambassador Carlos Alberto Franco Franca, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Brazil, Honorable Minister Mr. Sergei Lavrov, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Russia, Honorable Dr. Subramaniam Jai Shankar, Minister of External Affairs of India. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor to welcome you to South Africa's permanent mission to the United Nations in New York. In fact, this is the uh, office of our Consul uh, General uh, in New York. Uh, colleagues, it's been a while since uh, we were able to meet in person, and your presence here reaffirms and strengthens our long-standing bonds of friendship and cooperation. New York is where BRICS Ministers of Foreign Affairs first met in 2006, and the founding vision of BRICS has remained consistent since then. We strive for a fair, just, inclusive, equitable, and representative multipolar international system based on the important pillars of multilateralism and international law. This was the founding vision of BRICS, which aligns with our own philosophy in South Africa of working together as a global community to find solutions to challenges which affect us all collectively. You all would have heard and would have said yourselves in the context of the General Assembly that we meet amidst many global challenges, including a food, fuel, and financial crisis on the back of a slow recovery for many of us from the socioeconomic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has caused much to add to the problems that we're confronted by, particularly in our own continent, Africa. Conflict and human suffering persist in different parts of the world, despite the well-accepted principles of the UN Charter. We as BRICS should invest more in conflict prevention and we should look more closely at the root causes of conflict and how we might address them. These are urgent global issues. And of course, we still have the broader sustainable development agenda, which we must consistently give attention to. We were really pleased that the President of the General Assembly chose to focus on transformative solutions to interlocking challenges for this year's general debate. Recent global events have shown us that we can't wait for others to come up with solutions. We also need to look at existing multilateral structures and their mechanisms and ensure that where necessary we reform them to respond to current and contemporary challenges. I think it's left to us as BRICS now more than ever before in partnership with like-minded emerging markets and developing countries to craft new solutions to safeguard multilateralism, to shape an inclusive and equitable international order focused on the needs of all our people, and to try and put the global economy on a new tra trajectory of progress, inclusive growth, prosperity and sustainable development. Dear Ministers, I'm really looking forward to our discussions today and to us confirming and approving the hard work that our Sherpas have done in the past few days. So if uh, there's no objection, I think we need to now move to our formal meeting. I therefore propose that uh, we release our friends of the media from 